selflessly giving one's life. Ooh, yaoi review. Hi everybody, it's Corbin, and today we are here to talk about Devil in the Realist Volume 11 by Yutoko Yakahiro and Matoko Dakodono. I'll read the back, then we shall delve into it and get it into the nitty gritty. The fate of Detalion's retainer, Baphomet, has been sealed thanks to the scheming of the demon Balbareth. Without the support and companionship of his oldest friend, can Detalion hold his candidacy for the throne? Or are even William's words not enough to soothe the broken, regretful heart of the Grand Duke of Hell? He's my new retainer. Now, let's start off with the artwork as usual. It opens with this beautiful little colored poster panel and then a colored copy of the front cover. Absolutely beautiful. And the art style is still the same as it has been throughout all of these. It's that modern kind of shonen look. It is definitely that shonen eye sample of life where everything looks very androgynous. And it's hard to tell which one's male, which one's female, which one's just depicting themselves as female and is actually male. It, it's just really hard to tell. And with some of the characters, that is kind of the case. So, I absolutely plotline wise loved this volume it was it was good it went by fast it was a little drony it kind of dragged in some places but it was good nonetheless what happens in volume 11 is we run in to the continuation of the fight where Baphomet is pretty much dead and Italian is completely pissed off William is there and William orders his um, Kevin his butler the angel uh, the Archangel Uriel, he orders um, Kevin to go ahead and take Bahamut to um, Purgatory, which is the place where demons go to sleep and recharge the powers, and so do angels. It's like kind of the middle ground where nobody does anything bad or fight. So he says, well, Kevin says, I can't refuse you an order. So he takes Bahamut up and tragedy strikes as they are going up to Purgatory and Baphomet is killed, keeping William safe, and it's very tragic. Now, Detalion, being a overly emotional, broody sort of character, goes ahead and kind of shuts down, he escapes from the world, and ends up getting a very interesting new retainer, one with a lot of godlike prospects. It's very interesting the way this does conclude itself. I cannot fault it. I did not like the new character they introduced as the retainer. His name is Galgamesh. And if you know the whole story behind Galgamesh, you'll you'll kind of be like, oh, okay. Like I was. This, it's interesting how it worked out. Um, the new character has a godlike ability. He is two parts divinity. So he's two parts god, one part human. Um, he is the oldest living, um, I forgot what they're called, uh, like Detalion is, he's not a pure blood demon, but he's the oldest living, um, Seraphim, I think that's what they called it, but that may not be the word, but he's the oldest living version of that, but he's also a god. So it's very interesting. Um, it gives a lot of prospects. Now, Detalion does revert into seclusion but then magically reappears at the school when weird things are happening again. And it seems cold, distant, and mildly, I guess, cruel. That would be the easiest way to describe it. He's being very cruel and mean and distant from William. So that's where they leave us. It leaves us kind of like a WTF moment. Um, I was hoping for some sort of glitter, happy, twinkle, twinkle, shonen eye kind of, I missed you! But that's not what we got in this volume. So yeah, I gave this a four, three and a half to four stars. Closer to four, but it's kind of almost firmly three and a half. Because not much really happens besides Baphomet dying. Um, we see War Rage in Hell for all of like maybe ten pages. And Detalion throw a temper tantrum and then get a new interesting-ish retainer. That's about it. Um... So yeah, three and a half, almost four, but mostly three and a half. So yeah.
If you guys have questions and comments, shoot them down below. Um, share this with a friend who likes Yaoi slash Shonen Eye, because I've gotten people complaining about that rather than watching the whole video when I explain this is Shonen Eye, but it has really strong Yaoi subtext in the first volume, and it does show through again in this volume. So, yes, and I will talk to you guys later. Do you Bye. like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!